Chris, how have you played around with this? What what has worked for you, and and how have you thought about bringing meaning into any kind of feast or, um, yeah, special special old meal? Yeah, like you guys have tried a lot of different things and failed at most of them. It feels like, but um, lately, probably the last probably six months, in my nightly routine around the table with the family, I've actually been toying with a totally different structure and kind of doing more of a discovery Bible study type of environment. Right. And we read like, uh, I don't know, five to 10 verses. And then, um, one of my boys is responsible for retelling the story in his own words. So he's got to pay close enough attention to retell it. My boys are eight, six, four, two and newborn. Um, and so varying degrees of success with that, depending on the age. And then I ask each of them questions and they, they actually earn points and stuff like that based on being able to answer questions and just making it fun. And when they earn enough points, they get a cookie or they get a Lego set or something. And really just tying reward, uh, enjoyment, joy to that process. And, and so when, uh, in the past we've done like Passover, um, gatherings with, you know, three or four or five other families. Um, and this year we had just moved back to Oregon. And so we had, um, all of our other family were around that, that weren't around when we had done the last two years of Passover festivals in Texas. And so because of all of that, and, and they're a little bit more focused on kind of like Easter celebration versus Passover. So we, we hosted an Easter gathering at our house and we had four generations present. And I kind of just started doing a little bit of the same thing. I read, I read a couple passages from the scriptures around, um, the, uh, crucifixion and the death, burial, resurrection. And then I just started asking the little kids in the room questions. And it was so cool to see as you just ask questions, like, how that stirred up the room. And by the time we were done and I, I, you know, don't take credit for this necessarily. Like I was just exploring different ways of doing things, but the, the fourth generation, the, the, my wife's grandma, uh, came up to me and she was like in tears and she's like, that was so special. And it was just amazing to have all of my kids and their kids and their grandkids, you know, like, and the room was stirred. And all I did was read a couple passages and ask some questions, you know? And so for, for me being someone who has always been much more, um, traditional teaching in the sense of like, I talk at people when I teach, that's just kind of how the framework I've always had. This has been a massive like adjustment for me, but also bearing, it seems more fruit at times. And so it's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I love that. I, I, I love the discovery Bible study kind of process around a table. I think that's, that's a great, mm-hmm. great way to do that. Just some verses from the gospels have, you know, get that, get your kids familiar and then just get, get a conversation going around, around some element there. That's awesome. Yeah. 